Hi you guys, Kirkland here. It's Saturday evening at 7.15, March 18th. Just playing Survivor to earn better grades as the new season started earlier this week. So let's get going. I'm already in a lobby with three other strangers I don't know. Hopefully we do well. Here's the perks I'm using. I'm using Spine Chill, Detective's Hunch, Prove Thyself, and I think it's called No One Left Behind. Today was a pretty good day. Um, it was nice and sunny out, and I went out and went to a few different stores. I had bought some pants from Levi's.com earlier this week, but when the pants arrived, they had the security tags on them. So I tried to go to the different stores to see if they could remove the tags. I called beforehand and they said they could, but then when I got there they said they don't have the right equipment. So I have to go um, to, a, to the Levi's store, which is a lot farther away from where I live later on. Um, probably when I get my new chair I'm going to make a special trip on a shuttle bus that can take me and I'll get my pants taken care of then. Hi Aaron, nice to see you. Thanks for dropping in. And the other big news I have is five days from now my new chair comes. So I'm excited about that. And um, I recently got a GoPro camera. I'm still learning how to use it. It's pretty, I think it's gonna be pretty easy. Um, I've got the right kind of mounts to be able to use it while I'm in the chair. So I just have to practice and have fun with it. Right now it's a little intimidating, but it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Did you want to play with me today, Aaron? Okay, after this match, uh, you're welcome to play with me. Just uh, maybe load up your game and have it ready. And then I'll wait for you to jump on. Um, and as a reminder, there are some codes out there for anyone new. You can use Pride2022 or Warrior Puppers. They're charm codes. There's also another code out, but I don't know if it's good still. You can use Lovebird. And that's also a charm code. So let me know if those are still working or if they're not working and I'll quit reminding people. But I always try just in case someone can get it. And also right now if you're playing uh, Dead by Daylight there's like this red lava lamp thing that if you interact with it um, I don't think it matters if you survive the trial or not but after you interact with it you sparkle and then when the match is over you get a charm and it's pretty neat. I think it's a crossover from one of the new games that Behavior came out with. Forgive me, I forgot the name of it at the moment, but um, yeah. That charm is pretty neat. In fact, my character is wearing it right now. Maybe I can show you in a second what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like this. This little guy right here. I, it's called the Gen Pad or something like that. It's pretty neat. I'll, I'll give you guys a close-up of it uh, when we get back in the lobby. I can zoom in and you guys can see it.
So what's new wearing anything? Here's the lava lamp thing I was telling you about. Let's just stay here for a second. Oh, that's cool. That's good, as long as you're able to get around, that's all that matters. I did a lot of pushing today, so my arms are just feeling like spaghetti right now. I'm thankful the new chair is coming. Yeah, the new chair is electric, so I'll be able to do a whole lot of new things with it. I've never had an electric chair before, but this one is like the Cadillac of chairs. It's got an elevator platform, so it can raise me up taller, like three and a half to four feet, I think. So I'll be able to reach like kitchen cabinets that I've never been able to reach before. And I'll be able to, you know, cook over the stove. I've always been scared to cook on the stove, especially this one, because like I'm really short in my manual chair and I can't even see the inside of like pots and pans and stuff and I'm always afraid I'm going to get splashed with grease or something. But now with this new chair I'll be a lot taller and I'll be able to see what's going on. So I'm excited. I'm mostly excited about using the inst instant pot that I have. So. That'll be a good time. Lots of good food in it too. I'm gonna make lots of rice, I love rice. And then going to the grocery store will be a lot more easier because um, I can drive one-handed and carry a basket or whatever so I'm gonna appreciate that a lot okay I'm gonna follow her and see if I can give her some healing Bad news. I think he's using the plague's perk that makes you scream when people go down. Oh, they used the a flashlight, that's cool. Okay, let's get busy here. today
These lo long screams are just crazy. It's funny. I read in the latest um, update, like the blog that the devs have, that I, th I think they're gonna revert the screams back to where they were, which I think is good because uh, I liked it better when the screams just covered the whole map and you didn't really know uh, where stuff was gonna be. I really hope the anniversary brings back the crowns or even gives us wings. That'll be cool. Oh, she doesn't want my med kit. Okay. I'm gonna run this way. Gates that way. I'm gonna cleanse this real quick. Hopefully the gates are um, near finished. Well, that was unlucky. So, okay, continue. All right, I'm headed back to the lobby now, so I'll just wait for you. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, and I didn't wear anything green. I have green pants too that I just bought but I decided not to wear them. I want to wait till I get my new chair. Probably one of the things I look forward to making too on the stove is I used to make omelets I'm hoping I can still remember how to make a good omelet. It's been years. Probably like the last time I made an omelet was for my mom when she lived at our house. It was like, oh geez, 15 years ago. I had a different chair back then and I was a little taller in that chair. Oh, nice. Happy belated birthday. 
I'm gonna change characters and then uh, maybe use the same perks. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be her. Um, no, I don't. I don't like those perks. Let's see. We tried this one before and it didn't work really. So I'm gonna take what's this? I'll keep that one and. I'll take hyper focus off and I'm going to switch it with um, f I think it's called fast track yeah there all gen rushing related send invite um, what's your console name again Revenge. Okay. Um. Oh, there it is. I think it's you. Yeah. Okay. I can't. Oh, wait. What happened? I can't invite, but I can join you. So I'll do that. Okay, so the perks I'm using so everybody else can see. Friendly competition, prove thyself, overzealous, and fast track. Okay, no problem. I'm looking forward to using the GoPros and I've, I've been already like I don't know when when I take my naps or when I go to bed sometimes I'm dreaming I've already done like my video blog I've been coming up with ideas of like what I want to talk about and share and things and it I don't know it just kind of like um, it reminds me of all the times that I was with my grandpa and he would take me in the car and we'd go to the mountain or we would go to the beach or because our grandma my grandma was in the back seat with us and um and we'd have to go on really long car rides because that was like the only way uh we could calm her down because she was like she had a little bit of schizophrenia i think and um I, I know that my grandpa and her, they got along okay, but she was always like, I don't want to say she was a recluse, but she had to be in the bedroom by herself a lot, and she never wanted to go out, but the only way she was willing to go out was when uh, he would take her for really long car rides, and to get to, get to the mountain, it took like, I think it took about at least 90 minutes each way if not longer and then even when we got back from the mountain we'd, we'd circle around and go to the beach and, and just drive around a little bit longer and her favorite her favorite dinner to have if we were eating out was uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken and I remember it seemed like every time I ate it I would get sick but the one thing that would wouldn't make me sick would be the the freshly made biscuits and the mashed potatoes and gravy but like the chicken I had to stay away from the chicken the chicken was like kryptonite for me so especially during Christmas because everybody had to drink um, sparkling apple cider and after I would drink the sparkling apple cider I definitely got sick <laughs> Especially with mixing it with the chicken, so 
Needless to say, after a while I just asked for mashed potatoes, sometimes um, coleslaw. I don't think macaroni was a thing back then. I don't think they even offered it as a side, but they did have coleslaw. So, and if we, w if we weren't having KFC chicken, my grandma would always want boiled hot dogs, um, corn on the cob, but it wasn't on the cob, it would be cut off the cob. And then I got this from my grandma, but I like it a lot. Um, sometimes when I eat corn, I like to put mustard on it. And I don't know why. It's probably because of the sweetness of the corn and the tartness of the mustard. It's just like a magical mix for me. So I don't do it all the time, but when I do do it, it just brings back memories of my childhood. So, yeah. So yeah, I have I have several things I'm thinking about talking about during my my GoPro streams and places I want to sh talk about and share and hopefully show. So I'm looking forward to it. Whenever somebody uh, interacts with that lava lamp thing, I always think I'm facing the plague. I mean, not the plague, the hag, because she makes that kind of scream noise when you set off our traps. But we're playing the night. Oh, maybe I should have used spine chill. Oops, can't go this way. Welcome back. Targets here. <coughs> Let me go down here and get this chest. I'm uh, eager to go to the Levi's store because I became a, I think they call it a red tag member. And, and one of the benefits of being a red tag member is they actually, they have these pride um, buttons for your jeans that they can swap out and put on your jeans. So um, I'm hoping when I go, they'll do that for me. In the email it said it was a promo code, so I don't know if it's just a limited supply, but it wasn't, they, were, they weren't going to charge you, so hopefully I get to take advantage of that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change locations again, because I don't want to be in danger with the killer. Okay, no totem. I haven't seen any totems.
One step closer. what I had intended. Oh, this is bad.
Okay, we'll just continue. And I'll switch characters again. Actually, I started watching season season three of Superman and Lois. It just started again, and it is free to watch next day on the CW app on Wednesdays. It airs on Tuesdays, but it's free the next day on the app. So every Wednesday I watch Superman and Lois, and also on Wednesdays, uh, Mandalorian season three is on. And then on Thursdays, I watch Star Trek Picard. So those were the three shows that I watch right now. Okay, let's see. That's similar to what I was just doing. Let's do something a little different. Um, I'm going to try being in distraction. seem to find what I'm looking for. Um, what's that one called where you can run by lockers and slam them without actually going in them? That's right, but I was just trying to remember what it was called because I can't even remember what it looks like. Let's see. Let me just switch to Elodie real quick and I can find out. Okay. So it's called Deception. Oh, no wonder. I always get confused between that and distortion. That's why I can never find it. Of course. I'll do what I can. Flashbang. Those are all noise makers. I believe it's until the 20th we get a uh, double XP for every trial we play so 
I don't know if I can pull it off. Probably not. But my goal is to get to Devotion 34 before that time is up. Not that I need need to, but that's just a goal that I have since they're giving us that double XP. And then when the anniversary starts, that's when I'm going to start spending the shards too. Because during the anniversary they reset the shrine every day. In history's past they usually do about 16 days worth. So that'll give me access to like, I believe it's 9 million blood points or something like that. I took notes, I'll have to remind everybody later. But my original goal was 512,000 shards for the 16 rotations during the anniversary plus a year's worth of regular shrine as well. So Which, which character are you again? You're the, the new survivor? Okay. I don't know how to say it, but I think it's the Thalia or something like that. Have you already done her brother? Oh, so you're using um, Oryx cells to buy them or shards? <sighs> I see. Yeah, I have their powers, but honestly, I'm not impressed with the powers. I think they're the weakest they have been in quite some time. We're playing the new killer, so beware. Lots of changes to the killer came or is coming. I'm not sure if they already came. I think the new changes already happened because I remember them saying that when the battery wears out the drone gets returned to the killer so she can release them again. Okay, I got my flashbang. I'm gonna go this way. Is 
gun right here. Oh. Well, Aaron, this might be a tough save.
Okay. them out. Alrighty, well, good luck, Aaron. Let's see how the rest of this pairs out. Aaron, if I was you, I'd run to a gate.
Remember, she can track you. saw some of the moray, not all of it. That was a good moray. And I got a pip out of that one. Okay, Aaron, I'm gonna go ahead and pop off for now because it's uh, dinner time and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for the company. Until then, Simone the Giraffe and I, we want to wish all of you good luck and be safe out there in the fog and we'll catch you next time. This is Kirkland signing out. Good night, everybody.